Hi, I'm Don. Today we have an unboxing video, but we're kind of discussing why you would like to invest on good stuff for the hobby. Also, we're going to talk about my very biased opinion on red grass products. Hi, I'm Don. Welcome to my studio. This channel is supported by all these awesome brands. This package arrived um, Friday, so a couple of days ago, and I was really excited because I kind of like requested for this stuff, and of course, Redgrass Games sent me all this awesome stuff. Now I have the Studio XL2, which is I'm most comfortable painting with this size because my first wet palette from Redgrass is the Studio XL. It's really huge, it's big, and it's perfect for people like me who are messy mixers because <laughs> when I mix paints, I'm kind of messy, especially if i do it in front of the video because i want people to see the consistency of my mixes so that the videos or the painting are easy to follow oh by the way i just finished an interview with redgrass and it should be up their like website the redgrassgames.com very soon so do check it out even if it's not yet out I mean, do check out Redgrass Games website because there are a ton of other interviews from like really good miniature painters and painters in general. So you really have to check it out. So I requested one more handle. I have four handles already and a ton of caps. But I think it's my OCD. I wanted like five handles, especially if you're painting um, you're painting a small unit of five figures and the handles does have like the the removable caps so you don't really have to have handles for each mini but I wanted five handles so they obliged and sent me a new handle so now I have five and they also sent me the mixing dish. This is my second one. And of course, the holder for Citadel pots. This comes like with a sliding mechanism, which is super good because you could carry your wet palette with those add-ons without the fear of like it falling down. Unlike the older version with the magnetic mixing dish and which is good when you're on the table but you can't really lift your red, your wet palette with it because it will fall down. So back to the miniature painting handle by Redgrass. It's super cool stuff because it has a 360 degree. The caps are rotating so it makes for easier painting. Also it's ergonomic. So for people like me who paint like sometimes I paint the whole day um, or at least a couple of hours or four hours. I don't experience like pain on my left hand because it's again it's ergonomic. So it's really cool stuff and you should check it out when you buy the handles it comes with this like metal plate which is really cool because you could stick your handle to it and it will be very stable now this one is a huge surprise a very nice surprise actually but i did not request this tiny wet palette and i think it's called painter light it has the old like technology or design because except for the foam this blue version has the new foam which is which makes the red grass wet palette better than most wet palettes in the market because it's very absorbent and it will hold water far longer than those cheapo diy or those cheapo wet palettes so the foam is what makes the red grass better than most wet palettes other than the, the, the case of course but this one the painter light has an older case so the ceiling is fairly tight especially if you put on the band but the newer versions are way better in terms of the lid 
Now, the Painter Lite is literally a lighter version of the Painter V2 because the Painter V2 is 20% bigger than the older Painter, the Painter V1. So, it's, it's like, it depends on how you paint, but I kind of learned how to paint with smaller wet palettes because when Redgrass sent me this orange Painter V2, for the longest time, I'm used to the XL size, but I kind of learned not to be messy when in terms of mixing but I still prefer the bigger XL size so it may not seem that the painter light and the painter v2 are much different but in the video at least but once you try using them the painter v2 is much bigger talking about big we have the studio xl this was like my main request ever since i saw it at the website but they sent me the painter v2 first because this was not yet available and it comes the package comes with an angel heraldus book a painting book which i haven't really read because i don't want to be influenced too much with his style of painting i like to develop my own sort of also, it comes with a paper, Everlasting Wet Palette Paper, which is reusable. Sometimes I've used a paper for like after 15 washes. And of course, same as the V2, it comes with an embossed logo, unlike the old one. You see here my old one, I stick like the metal plate at the center because it doesn't have a logo before. And it's about the same size as the old Studio XL, which I dedicated as an oil painting wet palette, or not wet palette, an oil painting glass palette. So I don't have the smaller glass palette that fits inside the Painter V2, but I do have this one, the, the Studio XL glass palette. I have yet to figure out how to properly open this new wet palette because the, <laughs> the lids are kind of tight. I have to figure out soon how to like comfortably open them. So the package came with 15 sheets of reusable membrane, hydration member, basically reusable paper. But the older paper that I have that came with the older Studio XL will work as fine and I could use it of course but I'm thinking of dedicating the newer like Studio XL V2 as a glass palette but I'm not really sure because I really prefer like painting with the Studio XL maybe because it was my first red grass palette and I'm used to the size but we'll see much like the reusable paper the glass palette of course fits really nice over the new studio xl it has the practically the same size so it fits it it fits nicely also you'll notice that the lid of course is very tight because it has a rubber the whole thing the whole side is rubber and it makes like the whole thing thicker than the old one a little bit thicker and heavier but it's tighter the lid is tighter which is great if you want to preserve your mixes for now i want to dedicate the studio xl as a glass palette but i'm having second thoughts as i've said because i really like painting with this bigger palette also i got a couple of boxes to paint i have this zombie side and it has 20 figures so i'll be sort of speed painting soon i have primed it and i have i will have the pdf guide on how to properly prime your minis especially batch priming it's available at patreon so now i have to give my older studio xl wet palette i added the new foam and of course the older hydration paper and wait if your kids are into art or you're into art do support my daughter's art channel sam also i'm giving the old studio xl wet palette case and some paper to my daughter nico she's a gunpla painter so do check out her video too i'll put it both in the description below so that's it i have a very cute little 
Painter Light, and of course the huge Studio XL and the flagship Orange Painter V2. I'll be creating videos for Redgrass for their YouTube channel. I'll put the link below because we're trying to like grow the YouTube channel and I'll tell you why it's essential to upgrade to the wet palette of Redgrass and of course their other tools. Also, I'll be working on some batch painting. I'll try speed painting and stuff like that. And if you are interested for more detailed like reviews and PDF guides on painting and paint recipes, do check out my Patreon. That's good. Now before we end the video, a ton of thanks to all my patrons. You make this video creation a bit more possible. Also, I'm really working hard to make my Patreon the most like content-rich Patreon out there. That's it, Pansit. That's it. We're done. I hope you liked the video. Do like, comment, subscribe, and consider joining the channel so that you'll be part of our Discord community. Saludos!